In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys some advanced masking. So hi guys, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is still Manny and you can still find me on our Facebook page at Retard Pro. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys some advanced masking that we're going to do from our The Photographer Pro tutorial. It has just launched. It's available for 10 bucks now for the first 10 hours. So go and get it if you want it. Yes, yeah, sure. Let's also get right into the tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do some advanced masking here for your composites and we're going to take a snippet from the photographer. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've already imported here my layer again, straight out of the camera. I took it just through Camera Raw and now into Photoshop. So it's right here under Basic. All right, so before I also start with the whole masking, creating selections and stuff, I just want to say that if you guys shoot this on a gray, on a 50% gray, a, I shot this on a charcoal backdrop, it helps you so much more for just creating new backgrounds here of all then also adding the subject and again the rest of the Photoshop steps. So this is still halfway through the Photoshop. I still need to do a little bit of retouching on this, but just showing you guys quickly, it is easier shooting it this right away on a 50% gray backdrop. As well, if you guys want to learn more about that, have a look at our pro tutorial under the photographer. All right, so let's get right into it. First of all, I import the image under basic, then I add it just my background here, basically texture, color, and just getting the right feel and look for it. Then once I'm done with that and happy as well, I normally take the basic layer, press Command J, move that all the way to the top here, right on top of to background, and now I start doing cutting out and creating a selection around the complete subject, as you guys can see here in the top already. But we want to do that right away from scratch again. So what I do is mainly, or sometimes I take the pen tool and just create a really nice path around here, around all the solid areas. When it comes to hairs, I leave a little bit of a gap here, go closer in, the same for the top here, and then I just create from the path a selection, and then with the selection a new mask. But today I want to show you guys a different technique. I'm actually going to go over here and just select the quick selection tool. Then at the top here, just again, the plus minus or basically in the add mode. Then as well, your brush. I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 5 Pro tablet. So via the tablet, I'm able to really quickly change my brush size over here. You can also do that if you use Control all together, move left and right. You can change your brush size over there. As well, I'm just going to keep it to a 100% hardness and literally just start painting over the complete subject here. Now bear in mind also don't press Q on the keyboard for the quick selection mask, the shortcut, because otherwise it's just going to select everything. Alright, so as you guys can see, I've just made a quick selection around the complete person. Next step, as you guys can see over here, we have a little bit of an extra spill over here as well, and this as well. So it's all selected as well, but we don't want that. So I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Also hold Alt, which goes into the subtract mode, which you guys can also see here in the top. So again, Alt switches between those. I'm just going to hold Alt and literally go in here on the side between his arms and just paint in here, which basically just subtracts all that area again. Okay, so it helps me already again with refining. The same here at the bottom and a little bit here where the beard is. Okay, so it's literally just a simple quick step. Again, I'm going to do it again. So it's literally just a simple small step and it was also really quickly selecting a person like that. So you don't need to create a path around everything. But bear in mind when you do a selection now, a mask, then this edge might not be as good as if you've done it with a pen tool. So let's go over now to the mask here. Just select the mask over here. And as you guys can see already, we have a nice selection or cutout around our complete person. Here at the top, we still need to work a little bit on the hair. So again, we need to cut out all of that. And as well here on the left, the hand, there's a few areas that we really need to go in and work. But overall, they've done actually a pretty good job just around the pants here, the bag obviously. Here, not too good. So that's what I would do. One step, I would be press B for the brush. Then as well, zoom a little bit closer. As well, press Control all together. Make my brush a little bit bigger. Change the hardness sometimes between 100 to 80%. Also now with the black foreground color, with white, obviously, you're painting away. So I'm going to clean up just the person over here and then literally just start cleaning all of that up. Now, I'm also painting really quickly, actually. Take a bit of time and, and do it more carefully. Again, B for the brush. X, switching foreground colors. 
and now just with black you can again paint back the background now obviously that you can do around the complete person and I guess most of you guys already know about that I'm just going to create a quick help layer over here and also show you guys something so with B brush here again so you can start cleaning up this area you can start cleaning up this area this area over here and as well obviously these areas here but what's with the hair the hair is super complicated you're not going to do that just with a normal brush so I'm going to blend this off I'm going to zoom in a bit closer and now the trick comes in it's actually not that much of a trick I guess some of you know already about it anyways I'm going to go to the mask again not the layer here please the mask press right click and also say refine mask then as well another pop-up will start up here refine mask and now I can start with the refine mask go around this area now let's have a look first of all here on the view mode I normally just work on the layer directly so right away on layer then as well edge radius here the smart radius I don't tend to work so much with it because I think it takes away too much detail so I normally keep it to zero then sometimes to get a little bit more details and a bit more contrast I just work with a contrast slider a little bit um, yeah and that's basically all not even with shift edge or nothing not no output nothing just literally like this alright so what I want to start doing is make it a bit bigger and start just going over the hairs here and around the complete hairs from the guy so once around all the way around and also I'm not painting sometimes with the center mostly just with the outside like this as you guys can see me do at the moment so I'm not trying to go too much over the guy okay like this that rendered really nicely for us already and I'm going to make my brush a bit smaller and also go right over the hair here okay a little bit more cover that okay and leave that as well so that can render for us and it looks really nicely already I'm going to hit OK here okay so as you guys can see it rendered out really really nicely this we still need to clean it up here a little bit so I'm just going to go back into the mask press B for the brush again black foreground color no actually white foreground color 100% opacity yeah and then also take your time when you do this I'm doing it a little bit quicker so it still looks very edgy I still need to take more time doing this okay something like that anyway so again switch foreground colors and paint stuff back again now but I wanted to show you guys how have a look how good this is actually just with cutting out the hairs here and stuff now what I normally do is also take the brush again with B make my brush a bit bigger control alt to just have a look at the hardness so I'm going to change the hardness maybe to just like a 50% opacity or percentage here and then as well what I do is not paint with 100% opacity I normally start as well with 50% opacity make the brush a bit smaller again and I'm literally just brushing again over the beard not with the wrong foreground color so switch that white foreground color please and you're just filling again in a little bit so just giving that again a little bit of a boost okay a little bit more then over here I wouldn't paint too much but sometimes something like this area over here you can obviously see it here on the hair still we need to brush those out they still have a lot of color from the background so cleaning up these areas and over here and again obviously I'm stroking just now with 50% so the more I'm going over this the harder it will get and the more it will shine through okay something like that I'm gonna go down here and here it's a bit more trickier so again this area here let me just switch on again our help layer B for the brush quickly this area here I would paint with a hundred percent opacity really hard filling that and this area over here just with like a super low opacity maybe 20% feathered really feathered brush softly brushing that away okay so let's do that B for the brush 100% opacity as well just select the mask again I'm selecting 100% opacity now white foreground color and this looks all good we still have a lot of details and everything in here the mask did a pretty good job okay a little bit more okay and now I switch again control alt have a look at the brush how feathered that is maybe let's go to like a 20% and again let's start with 30% opacity switch foreground colors and now as you guys can see slowly brushing these areas out again a stroke another stroke a little bit more bleeding also a little bit here just over the clothes 
So I see a lot of photographers use this technique again with bleeding again, and it works actually pretty nice. Okay, a little bit more. Something like that. But now obviously you guys can see it looks quite orangey, the hair here, especially also over here. Here it looks very orangey. So there's a small technique that you can also go and get this away actually, which is basically just going back to your basic layer here at the bottom, and you go to adjustments, create another hue and saturation. Maybe if you want to, you can also just clip it there, but it's obviously there's nothing underneath of it, so it doesn't matter. You can just take the saturation all the way down a little bit. So try to take it, I'm going to take it now to maybe like minus 80% and just concentrate here on the hair and also on these hairs now. If I'm going to switch on this layer. So this again before and after, before and after. So it also does a big difference here to your background. So just be in mind that's going to affect that as well a little bit. But over here the hair works really nicely when you switch that again to a hue and saturation. Okay, so that's basically all how I work with my masking here and also with the whole mask. Now again, as I said earlier, I normally go in here with the brush, also the pen tool a little bit, clean up these areas. Again, we've also missed this area for the hair. Literally again, just hit right click, refine mask and you can clean up this really quickly as well. Which I'm going to do quickly, like so. Hit OK here. Okay, and that cutting it out really nicely. This we still need to do and over here. So again, there's still loads to do. But just showing you guys quickly how you can work with the Quick Refine tool um, to create a really nice mask. Yeah, okay, so that is basically all for advanced masking, guys. Literally cutting it out, refining it again with the Refine Edge and then obviously tweaking it a little bit more. Yeah, so if you guys also were interested to see more about this whole episode, go to our website at retailpro.com, check out The Photographer, and it's available for 10 bucks right now for the first 10 hours, so go get it. Now as well, guys, if you like this episode, don't forget to hit us up with a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them down below. I'm happy to interact with you guys and give you guys some feedback, get to meet you guys. Yeah, so that's all for today. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the new behind the scenes of the photographer. Yep, and that's it. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.